Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to use Arduino multifunction shield. This board is designed for Arduino Uno. This is very good choice for learning Arduino and interfacing IOs without folding and breadboard wiring. This board contains peripherals like buzzer, four LEDs, seven-segment display, and a trim port to simulate analog sensors. So. This is the buzzer, the, these are the four LEDs and a seven segment display and this is the trim port and also there are three switches to check the digital I.O. interfacing. So let us get into the schematic of this board and uh, write a small sketch to demonstrate these functionalities. So let us look at the schematic of the board. Four LEDs of the multifunction board are connected to the four GPOs 10, 11, 12, 13 of the Arduino board. LED anode is connected to 5 volts and cathode is connected to the GPOs. So when you are writing a sketch, we have to make active low of that particular pin to glow the LED. So this is helpful to reduce the current sourcing from the GPOs. Push buttons or switches are connected to A1, A2, A3 of Arduino. When the switch is pressed, that particular I.O. goes to active low. So we have to pull for active low when we want to, to check for the button press. Buzzer is connected to the PWM pin, which is a GPO3 of the Arduino. And by changing the duty cycle of the PWM pin, we can change the intensity of the beep of this buzzer. So there is a transistor circuit to drive the buzzer. So next is the seven segment display. Seven segment displays are interfaced to Arduino using 74HC 595 serial to parallel shift registers. There are two shift registers used in the circuit. One is for selecting the display digit number. Another one is to control the display digits. So let us understand how the seven segment display works to write the program. Seven segment display can serve total eight LEDs. Seven for forming the digit, one for a dot. So we have to make this particular IO high or low depends upon the type of seven segment display to glow this particular segment. There are two types of seven segment displays common anode and common cathode. So in case of common cathode display, we have to make this particular IO active load to glow the digit. So in the case of common anode, we have to make this particular IO active high to glow that particular segment. So let us take the example, if I wanted to display eight and this is dot to glow. In the case of common anode, we have to supply 0xFF as a data. In the case of common cathode display, the data is 0x00. The display type used in multifunction board is common anode type. So we have to make active high for this particular segments to glow them. Let us see the program for uh, controlling these ridges. Let us see the program for controlling LEDs, button, and seven segment displays, buzzer, etc. Let us have a look at the, the sketch written for. Uh, so let us have a sketch which can serve for code for controlling the seven segment displays, LEDs, and switches, and buzzer. Let us have a look at the sketch which has a code for controlling LEDs, buzzer switches and sound segment display. This is a sketch for controlling IOS and multifunction shield. These pins are related to serial to parallel shift registers. So generally data is sent on clock. After eight bits are transferred, we'll give the latch. So there is a function to send the data on these segments. And these are the pins related to LEDs. And these are pins related to switches or buttons. 
and this is a buzzer pin so and these are the hex values for displaying a seven segment uh, display so if i wanted to display c i have to write a c6 on that and if i want to display a two i have to write a4 so these are can these can be calculated by using a simple uh, tooth table as these are a, a common anode displays we have to make particular segment as a act to high and this is a set of function where uh, i am making all the functions as outputs except switches and leds are off means i am putting active high onto the led pins because uh, gvos are connected to anode and this is the main loop in the main loop if there is no button or switch pressed we are not doing anything other than uh, making a seven segment display of so what we are doing is we are pulling for each switch press or button press if the button one is pressed so what i am doing is i am calling a led blink function which it does basically it's like a glowing leds and making them off in a sequence fashion so we can see each led blinking in a sequence and uh, when the button 2 is pressed we are displaying uh, c to p on the seven segment displays and when the button 3 is pressed buzzer will beep for a minute sorry button sorry, buzzer will beep for a second and then uh, we are making buzzer off here so this is how the program runs you can get the the code from the link given in the description so let us go to the demo video when the code is running on the board let's have a look at the demo now the board is running with the sketch which we have discussed when no switch is pressed none of the peripherals are in use so these are the switches 1 2 3 when switch 1 is pressed led is blink in a sequence this is how we have written the code for switch 2 we are operating seven segment displays you can see c2p is coming on the seven segment displays when we press switch 2 similarly for switch 3 buzzer will be beeping for one second so this is how we can use multi-function shield to understand how to interface hardware and writing a program so with Arduino. Thank you.